Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video tutorial, I'm gonna work on a new sensor that is L3G 4200D. Now, to gain more knowledge about this sensor, how it works, what are the specifications of for this sensor, let's have a look over the website for that and it's controleverything.com and here we go for the sensor. And let's see what we got for the sensor. So L3G 4200D is a motion sensor ultra stable 3 axis gyroscope. So these are some of its features as you can see it's a gyro at full scale range is plus minus 250 to plus minus 2000 degrees per second. Sensitivity is good it's precise as you can see it's a highly unstable over the temperature and the time and you can also purchase the sensor from this very site. For today's video tutorial I'm gonna interface the sensor with an Arduino Nano and for that I require a code. So go to the source tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now click on the Arduino code sample and you can also download as zip file. Now you can have the privilege to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. You can download it there for. Now what we require is some hardware, some products along with the sensor so that we can have a setup full of connections for the working and interfacing of this particular sensor we are going to do. First of all this is our sensor that is L3G 4200D which you are able to see on my screen. Now for the interfacing purpose first of all the hardware we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now the question arises how to make a connection among the sensor and the Arduino Nano and the answer lies in this an I2C sheet. It's very easy to make a connection with other I2C devices and like this. So make this connection and gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C sheet and make this connection. Now this is a connecting cable. Now gently insert it over the sensor and make the connection and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly for the other side for the I2C shield same process. Now as we are done coming to the last part we have to power up the Arduino Nano and we need a mini SV cable just like this. Gently insert it over the power jack and make this connection and light it up. So we are done with the connections part. What we require is a code so that we can have an explanation for each and every step of that code and let's see how the code practically works. Now what we require is an Arduino code. So for that let's have a look over the Arduino code we want to interface. So for that we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. The official from control everything.com and here we have to type in L3G4200D and here comes our sensor that is a gyroscope. Now this is the code we want to interface and look forward to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow up. Uh, we have to download and install the Arduino software on our local machine and this is the link, uh, Arduino official link where we will have stepwise instructions to follow to install the Arduino. Let's have a look so that we can catch up it. Here you can see all the relevant information to install in Windows, Mac, Linux, all the commands are being provided so you can guide through easily. So why not get back to the code now so that let's have a look over the code now it's a dot .in extension file as you can see uh, first of all uh, we have included wire.h library and all the relevant functions are being included automatically now the address defined for the sensor is 0x68 first of all in the void setup function uh, initialization of i2c communication as master and for serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600 has been set up in the writing section part, we have selected control register 1 having address 0x20 and here the command sent is normal mode and x, y and z axis have been enabled. The command for that is 0x, 0f. Next writing part is we have selected control register 4 having address 0x23 and here continuous update and the command to select full scale range that is plus minus 2000 degrees per second has been selected and the command for that is 0x30 30. there is a delay of 300 ms 
Now, as we are done with the first part, now in the void loop function, we are having a for loop, which is being used to select data register from address uh, 40. It's a decim decimal equivalent, and we are requesting data for six bytes that includes x, y, and z data for the gyroscope. Now, as we are doing the data collection, the conversion of the data takes place here. We have uh, been improvising using the conditions, the details provided in the data sheet for L3G 4200D. So, as we are done with the connection conversions part, at the very end of our code, we have to display the data on to the monitor. The output data, the raw value specifically of x, y, and z axis of rotation. So, we are being done with this. So you can have a look over the code so that you can specify yourself every single detail. So what we require is a practical for the working of this code. So why not we have that. Now let's have a look over the working for this particular code of Arduino for the sensor L3G 4200D. So the first step we have to follow is to copy this entire Arduino code. Open up Arduino. Here we go. And here we have to paste this entire code and save it and name it L3G4200D. Now let's have the verification and the compilation process begin. It's done. Now upload the code. It might take a while so that we can wait. It's done. Now we can have the output on the serial monitor. Let's have a look over that also. It's the serial monitor as you can see the x y and z axis of rotation being displayed on the screen it's almost stable as you can see there's a very minute change but when i try to rotate the sensor it will display the raw values of x y and z axis rotation in degrees per second it's a plus minus as you can see it's being continuously monitored on the screen which you can easily visible for you so this is how the Arduino code works for the sensor. So let's have a look over the features, benefits and the applications for this particular sensor and why do we use this particular sensor in a lot of applications. We have just seen the hardware connections, the explanation and the working for the code for the L3G4 to double OD. Now the L3G 4200D is a low power 3 axis angular rate sensor able to provide unprecedented stability of zero rate level and sensitivity over temperature and time. It includes a sensing element and IC row interface capable of providing the measured angular rate to the external world to a digital interface I2C SPI. It has a full scale of plus minus 250 plus minus 500 plus minus 2 triple zero DPS and is capable of measuring rates with a user selectable bandwidth. Due to this, it is being included in a lot of applications like gaming and virtual reality, input devices, motion control with MMI, man machine interface, GPS applications and a lot. Well, the sensor can be purchased from the website as you can see on my screen from here and you can also have the code from the resource tab. Now you can also have the code from GitHub repository that is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that in case of any issue, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page. Now for blogs and articles, you can reach me on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials, go to our YouTube channel. Now I hope you enjoyed this video a lot and have a good one yourself. Thanks for watching.